Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will name the parts of a whole. Let's start with halves. Here we have a whole that is split into two equal parts. This is worth one half, and this is another half. So these are known as halves. Here we have an orange that is split or cut into two equal parts. This is one half of an orange. This is another half of an orange. If we put these halves together, we have two halves, which is one whole orange. In the same way, this model or fraction bar shows we have a half plus another half. If we have both halves, we have two halves or two out of two parts. And if we have both of them and the whole has two parts, then we have one whole. So remember, a half or halves are two equal parts, one, two. Each one is worth a half. Together, they make two halves, which is a whole. Thirds, let's take a look at this model. We have a whole that is split into one, two, three equal parts. Each one is worth one third, one third and one third. Here we have a carrot that was split into three equal parts. Each part of this carrot is worth one third, one third and one third. If we put these thirds together, we get one whole carrot. In the same way, if we add one third plus one third plus one third, we get three thirds. One, two, three. Three thirds or three out of three. And if we have all three parts of this whole that has three parts, then we have the whole. Fourths. Here we have a whole that has one, two, three, four equal parts. Each one is worth one fourth one fourth one fourth and one fourth here we have an apple that was cut or split into four equal parts each one is worth one fourth if we put all four fourths together we get one whole apple in the same way one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth gives us four fourths we have all four of the fourths which means we have one whole remember Fourths are made when you have a whole that is split into four equal parts, and each one is worth one fourth. Sixths. Here we have a whole that is split into one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. Each one is worth one sixth. And here we have a pizza. This pizza is split or cut into six equal parts. Each one is worth one sixth. And if you have six equal parts and they're all there, then you have one whole pizza. In the same way, if you have one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus another sixth plus another sixth, you have six sixths all six of them, which means you have one whole because you have a whole that has six parts and you have all of them. So you have one whole. Eighths, we have a pizza that is split or cut into eight equal parts. And we have a whole here that is also cut into eight equal parts. Each one is worth one eighth, just like each slice of pizza is worth one eighth. Together, if you have all eight eighths, you have one whole pizza. In the same way, if you add up all of these eighths, you will end up with eight eighths. And if you have all eight of the eight parts or pieces, then you have one whole. <laughs>